What's the hurry, my prince? Lay me there with a barrel of beer and a cup. Flap a new rice ticks. You're a bigger rat picker than me. Go, go. Move it! Come on now. Move it. Faster. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Lead the way. Splendid. Come. Ah! The King of Beggars, man. His name is Tin Boy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to ire, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. to come alone, Elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Ah. Fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver, there's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. You're kidding, right? We'll give you ten. Geralt, what are you... Be quiet. You're fucking with fire, git. I don't have to haggle with you. Final offer, faulty. Give you twenty-five. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? Oh, Thirty-five's as low as we'll go. Twenty-five's our limit. We'll throw in a discount at the shop. <laughs> You're clearly daft, Tram. No deal. Come on, boys.
Fine. We'll take your offer. But perhaps we should... You should go home, elf. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, tin boy. Too much drink. It softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Damn it. Who's this now? Cleaver's boys! News travel fast! What do we do? Right. Sure hope there's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Think they'll come back? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat, while your partner's just flown the coop. Damn it. Hey, wait. <laughs> Good luck! Hattori, wait! Think I piss me trousers. Tori, you in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until Middenvern. Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits, make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies, and then what? You'll have to pay him. What have I done? Geralt, you must help me! No, I won't. I'm a witcher, not a bodyguard. Precisely! You must find me a bodyguard! Geralt, I beg you! They'll kill me! Got anyone specific in mind? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. Can't you talk to him yourself? 
we parted not on the best of terms. That is to say, he demanded a bonus and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. Project. <clears throat> what the fuck are you doing? We weren't done conversing. Call that a conversation? Not your plowing business. You need a smack, is that it? Sorry, but you asked for it. I'm Geralt. Sucrus. You did well, mate. An ale to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. What brings you here, Geralt? You and the merchant. What was that about? Uh, why my sis wedded that plow and rotter is beyond me. That was your brother-in-law? Prick-in-law, more like. Sweet talk made first. Skellige mead. We need barrels. We'll be rich men. So, I brought it in. Then he starts going on about unforeseen storage costs, net gross balances, and I don't know what else. Business and family just don't mix. Exactly, mate. Looking for a bodyguard. Interested? Why not, if there's coin in it? Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're to batter. Favor for a favor, aren't we? I'm gonna kill you, Hattori. Yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? My brother-in-law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. <sighs> Damn it. I'll do it. Where'll I find him? Nearby at the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't mind. So what do you want me to do? Smash his stock of mead. Was me brought it in from Aunt Skellig? That a mature thing to do? Nay, but it's fair. Hey, Whitey. Why'd your hair go white?
Greetings. I'm Mr. Sucrus's collector. Come to get... Mr. Sucrus, the man's a boor. I do not deal with illiterate peasants. Tell him I'll pay just as soon as palm trees sprout on Skellige. Got a problem with Sucrus? <laughs> I thought mead. I shall import mead. Daft idea for a business. The import duties. My bollocks shrivel at the thought. I paid the bastard what we agreed, less half the duties. And palm trees will sooner sprout in Skellige. Yeah, I know. I don't have time for this. So long. Beg your pardon? He's gone mad! Run! Water's gonna rise. Hey, Garrett, how you doing? Got rid of that shipment. Is that so? Well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on axes once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Oh, noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't see why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. Geralt, I've yet to thank you for your help with Tinboy. I'd never dreamt I could get away with paying so little. I have something for you. Thanks. How are things with Sucrus? All is in order. I can pay him now. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No. 
you'd never agree. Agree to what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could borrow a little. What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? And why? It's simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. All right, all right. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. Garrett, how are things? Hattori's got a job for us. Great, I was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Mmm, sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there, look around. Meet us near the sturgeon. Fine. When? After dark, of course. See you there. That's it, Roach. That's sensitive. I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark them with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. Swindler, I told you about. Are you following me, you scoundrel? Ah, plowing nonsense. I knows him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us. You trade heads with troll. A friend of Yap and Zigrid's a friend of mine. Now sod off for I lose my temper. No! Abracadabra, hocus pocus. How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? Yeah, 
friend sends his regards. By your own Durin, just don't nick everything. And hurry, get it done while I'm in the privy. Where are those crafting supplies? Does stink of ammonia. Must be it. That'd be it. Gotta signal them now. This is Goat Fucker! Oi, Geralt. It's a bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Sucrus? Why are you here? With the sorcerer? Ah, now I see. That is one hell of a jest you pulled. Hattori sent you! That flowery non-human will be sorry his mother didn't strangle him with his navel string. But first, we'll feed you to the crabs! Hands off my brother-in-law, swine! Only I can thrash him. Understood? Brother, let's mop the floor with these plowing Nordlings. Join us, Geralt! Adam! Give him here, Sucris. Twirsan! with this fighter? Sucrus, forgive me. I love you like a brother, you unkempt bugger. Friends? Course, friends. What good has Becker ever brought us? Where's that Draca that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Skellige before he comes too. Won't be any more trouble to you. And maybe we'll try a new venture. But first we have to move these crates to Hattori's. True. I had to pay him a visit, too. Greetings, Ibeer. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how glad I am. I have no need of sucrus anymore and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. 
Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? My sword ready yet? It is. Behold and admire. A sword to outshine all others. Well, this was worth the wait. Thank you, Ibeer. It is I who thank you. For everything. What do you have on offer? So long. Thank you.